Gosh, this class is boring. Why isn't it over yet? My name is Sota Namiki. I'm a senior in high school. I like to pretend I'm focusing in class while I write manga for fun. I'm a huge anime and manga geek. They're my life. I don't have any friends, but I'm not upset about it. Yes, it's finally over. Excuse me. Can everybody sit down for a second? They'll be looking through your bags to inspect your personal belongings. Crap, that was today? Our school has a long history and a reputation to keep. We still have unannounced inspections from time to time. If the inspectors find anything unrelated to school, they'll take it away no matter the reason. Okay, you're clear. Ah, oh, thank God. Wait a second! I'll check Namiki's bag myself. Gosh, I knew it. Why do you have three manga books in your bag? I expect a detailed explanation for this. Her name is Yukina Akatsuki. She's the leader of the Student Disciplinary Committee. She's no joke. She's always got her eye on me since I've broken the school rules numerous times. You should know better. I'm taking these away. Ugh, it had to be today. It's your fault. You should obey school rules. Wait. Why are you looking at it? Does it look interesting? Uh, I wasn't looking at it! You need to stop obsessing over manga books! You're a senior! You should study! Obviously, she's not my favorite person. I want to avoid her as much as possible. She took my books, and I'm not too happy about it. Would you like some discount tickets for a maid cafe? It's maid donuts. Oh, uh, thanks. Three stations away. I don't have anything to do. Might as well check it out. My favorite anime and manga books are all stories about maids. I have a huge collection of maid character figures in my room. I've always been interested in maid cafes, but I've never actually been to one. It's a challenge for me to face real women. Receiving discount tickets here, today, must be God's will. He's telling me to go. Master, we've been waiting for you. We're so glad you're finally here. Uh, th thank you. Wow. So this is what it's like in the real world. It's so much better than in anime and manga books. Uh, I'm so nervous. I'm a maid cafe virgin. I wonder what my first maid is going to look like. Thank you for waiting, Master. My name is Lisa, and I will be serving you today. Your name is Lise. It's nice to meet you. I'm so nervous. I don't know if I can look her straight in the face, but I shouldn't waste this opportunity. She's adorable. Nothing can top this. She looks like a real maid. Uh, uh, Miki -kun. uh I don't recall telling you my name. Y you didn't. I just thought that name would fit you the best. Meow meow. Why do I feel uneasy? I think I've heard Lise san's voice somewhere before. No! You're Yukina Akatsuki! She's still talking! Hey, you can't tell anybody that I'm working at a maid cafe, okay? I'll be your maid exclusively if you promise to keep quiet about it. I can't breathe. Help me! You can enjoy your time here. Just pretend you don't know anything. Please, will you promise me? Uh, fine. Then, our contract is concluded. I'm yours now, Master. I was in shock after finding out the leader of the disciplinary committee worked at a maid cafe. She was a completely different person. I couldn't wrap my head around it. The only thing I remember is that Yukina-san was prettier than I could have imagined any maid to be. I had an amazing time there. Starting the next day, my high school life did a complete 180. Good morning, Master. How are you feeling today? Morning. I don't want you calling me that name at school. It's embarrassing me. Why not? I promised I would be your exclusive maid. Did you forget about our conversation? No, I remember. Anyways, you will not tell anybody about our little secrets, okay? Yukina-san stayed by my side after that day. She followed me around everywhere. She even made me a homemade obento every day. I made omelette rice with ketchup heart, master. Uh, I appreciate it. 
How about I feed you a bite? Master, open your mouth for me. Here. I can eat by our... Master, do you like it? Yes, I like it. Yay! Yukina is very happy to hear that. She used to punish me every time we had an inspection of our belongings, but... Oh my, you are so bad at hiding things, Master. This will not do. You need to learn how to hide them better. Thanks. I'm kind of starting to feel guilty about this treatment. Um... Yes, Master? What can I do for you? It's just... You're a bit too close to me right now. I am your maid, Sota-sama. I want to stay by your side all the time. I'm not complaining. It's just a bit embarrassing. School's over. You don't have to follow me anymore. Whether at school or not, I am still your maid. That will never change. Uh, the thing is, I've never walked home with a girl before. This is a first for me. Master, are you busy right now? Hey, you're the leader of the disciplinary committee. Why would you break the rules at work at a maid cafe? Well, it's always been a dream of mine. Master, do you know how many kinds of maid outfits there are out there? Uh, five? Maybe? That is incorrect. There are classical Victorian and Edwardian, and most recent styles would be French, China, Gothic, and Japanese Lolita. The list goes on. Add the different hair and makeup styles out there. You can create an endless list of maid types. I never knew maid outfits went so deep. My dream was to wear maid outfits to cheer people on and to give them comfort. It's amazing to be helping people while doing the thing you love. That's why I never want anybody to find out about maid donuts. I belong there. It means the world to me. Yukina-san really wants to be a maid. I should start taking her seriously. I don't want you to be forced into being my maid anymore. I plan on keeping my mouth shut about your part-time job. You have my word. Uh, do you want me to leave you alone? It's not like that. But I don't want to chain you down. Plus, it's not like you can be my exclusive maid forever. I don't feel chained down or anything. I enjoy being your maid. It's fulfilling. If you insist, I quit. At least let me be by your side for another week. Nobody has wanted to stay by my side like she does. Oh, okay. I guess we can stay together. For one more week. Great. I'll do my best to satisfy your needs, Master. Thank you. As I spent more time with Yukina-san, I felt something change inside me. I couldn't stop thinking about her as my maid, and I found myself searching for her whenever she wasn't by my side. I'm the only one who knows the true side of Yukina-san. She becomes a different person whenever she has her maid outfit on. Oh, Master. I have to work at Maid Donuts this afternoon. I'll be leaving early today. Okay, good luck. Welcome to Maid Donuts! Why am I feeling this way? I feel like something is missing. My heart feels empty. Does this mean that I... <gasps> Master! Why are you here? Well... I couldn't stop thinking about you. I know. I should have told you in advance. It's no problem. I'm over the moon. I wanted you to see me in my maid outfits. I will do my best to serve you today, Master. Thank you, Lisei-san. Sota-san, thank you for waiting. I brought you your lovely donut. I made sure to put extra love into my drawing. Thank you! Yukina-san shined brighter in her maid outfit. It made me want to cheer her on. Now I know how fans feel about their favorites. You're spacing out. Is something wrong? Am I not doing my job well enough? You're doing great. I was admiring how pretty you looked in your maid clothes. Oh my, I didn't expect to hear that from you. Lisa is a lucky maid to have you as her master. This is bad. I'm supposed to be Sota-san's maid. My heart starts pounding so fast whenever I'm with him. Jeez, Sota. She's your maid. Being nice to you is part of her job. Don't mistake her kindness for something else. It's not mutual. <sighs> I dedicated my time to supporting Yukina-san for the remaining week of her services to me. 
I stopped caring about what others would think of our queer relationship. Yukina-san deserved to serve me exactly how she wanted to. So I played the perfect master part. We have chem class next. Are you sure you have your books ready? Thank you, Yukina. We should go together. Yes, master. Let's get going. What's up with those two these days? Why is the leader of the disciplinary committee with a class loner? I went to May Donuts to cheer her on whenever I had spare time. Yukina-san at school, and Lise-san at the maid cafe. I wonder which one is my favorite. Thanks for all your support. Lise-chan! I felt as though my life finally had meaning. Yukina-san taught me how valuable it is to have somebody cheering you on. She also showed how satisfied you feel when you send support to somebody you care about. The final day of our last week together was here. Complicated feelings swarmed through my heart. I was headed to Maid Donuts to see Yukina-san when I found her handing out flyers in the street. Our maid contract ends today. Hi there! I'm from Maid Donuts. I have some special discount coupons for you. Wait, isn't that Lise-chan? Hey! Didn't think I would find a maid out here. You're a pretty cute maid. Are you looking for a master? You can serve us. Please, let me go! I have a car. How about we give you a ride? You'll listen to us since you're a maid, right? Somebody help me, please! Um, I don't think she's enjoying your attention. Huh? Who are you? Get lost. We're busy here. So Sota-san, stay away! They could be dangerous! You guys know each other? Hey, nerd boy! We're gonna borrow this maid for a bit, okay? No! Oh, let me go! Don't you dare lay a finger on her! Yukina, let's go! <laughs> you... You nerd freak! I never said you could go! Okay... Oof! Ah, ouch! <clears throat> Just for the record, you started this. You touch my maid once more, and I won't be letting you off so easily. Dude, let's go! He's got this freaking kung fu thing going on! Ow! Damn it! Are you okay? Did they hurt you? No, Master. I had no idea how strong you were. My family has a long history with Aikido. I've been taking lessons since I was a kid. My whole family does. Oh, I see. I don't enjoy doing it. But I don't want to know what my dad would do if I disobeyed him. Um... I would like to hear the line that you said earlier, again. Huh? The line? What are you talking about? If I heard right, you said I was your maid. What? Did I really say that about you? Don't play dumb with me! I swear to God you said it! I want to hear it again. Please. If you insist, you're my maid, Yukina. I will never forgive anybody who hurts you. Master... This is my last day with you. Finally, you accepted me as your maid. Can I ask, how did I do? To be honest, it was embarrassing at first, but I am grateful now. I know my service didn't start from the right reasons, but I feel lucky to have you as my master. Yeah, it was the best week of my life. It's something that I will never have again. So this is it. It's too hard to stay any longer. I guess I should go now. I'll try to be more careful. You don't have to catch me with manga books again. I... I think I have feelings for you, Master. I know I failed as a maid, but I couldn't walk away without telling you. I feel the same way. You don't have to be my maid anymore. But I would like you to stay by my side. I can't imagine not having you in my life, Yukina. Will you be my girlfriend? Oh, thank you. Soda-san, I've been longing for this for so long. Ten years later, our relationship wasn't all rainbows and unicorns, but we pulled through and eventually got married. We live a happy life together with our beautiful daughter now. I'm home! Sorry I'm late! Soda, you're back! We dressed up in china dresses today. Do you like them? Daddy, like... <laughs> you two are the cutest girls in the whole world. What can I do for you today, Master? 
You can't call me master in front of our daughter. Oh, she doesn't mind. We're in love and she knows it. Thank you for watching. How was today's video? Please check out our other videos as well.